What's up, Assassins? Corrupted Savior here. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about teamwork and the benefits of having teamwork. Like, this can be applied to randoms, your clan, and all other. Well, not all others, but basically, yeah, teammates, randoms, and clans. Um, the video skips here a bit. I do not know why, but yeah, I digress. Like, basically, teamwork in this is like being there to, well, what I think teamwork is to me is being there to have one another's back. Like, just in case something doesn't go right. Like, instead of, like in this um, video, you will see where... Basically, some of the, um, one or other teammates in this just basically runs around like a chicken with his head cut off and steadily gets punished for it. Like, um, yeah, that's not a good thing. Like, um, if, yeah, poison right here, but fail, fail poison. Even though I touched him, it was tapping, but, yeah. About this person right there, I can't pronounce his name, but you will see throughout this, um, throughout the offensive part that he just runs around fully like a chicken with his head cut off, as I said before, and every time he does, he gets punished for it. Now, see, I noticed that tripwire mine on the ground. He, on the other hand, did not, which he got punished for giving the opponents more points, which is not a good thing. Like, why, if you don't know who it is, why run towards them at full speed? And that dude automatically knew I knew it was him because he saw it. Yeah, but here I did not know who it was, and I got punished for it. Even though I could have tapped square to kill him. Yeah, I basically freaked out and pressed it after the fact that I was stunned. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Now let's see what's wrong here. I heard this. Yeah, you can hear when uh, the bodyguards being cast off. He, on the other hand, did not. Well, no, he had to have, but because he was in a rush to get the kill, like uh, most newer players usually are, they think um, quantity is better over quality. No, well that is not correct. Quality of the quality of the kill is better than the quantity. Like. If you can get a whole bunch of kills and a, and they're all quality kills, then yes, um, yeah, that's good. But if you're just going to run full speed, full speed at them just to run full speed at them, what was I going to say? I completely. My brain went completely like run full at them just to get a hundred point kill, or a most at most points a fifty point kill if you're not um, rocking the turban because the turban negates the effects of the uh, negates the effects of things. I get stunned here. I messed up big time. Yeah, determined to negate the, the fates of being, what's that, contested, basically. And, which is a ability I use off, well, I use that a lot because it saves me the hassle of having to have my points minimized just because most times they're randomly just tapping and tapping. Yeah, but as you can see, this match is uh, winding down to the end as, as basically the score is pretty much tied up. But in the next round, you will see, even though we have never really played together or on the same team, we are uh, demonstrating... We're demonstrating that we... Uh, do work pretty well together and show good team teamwork now look like, as you can see in my points right there that the quality of the kills I mean the quantity quantity does not mean higher points 
quality, the more quality kills you get, which I was mainly going for, helps me score that. That's what I'm usually all about. I, if I can get a better kill on a player, then ten, nine times out of ten, I'm going to go for, unless I have to rush the kill because, yeah, I know they're going to run away. Or like they stun and I'm nowhere near them to but at the same time I try to do these little mini burst dashes which which uh, helps me restore some of my um, the meter yeah teammate got poisoned I basically just froze up right well no I didn't freeze up I just decided not to to move like yeah basically uh, not move um, that firecracker was well placed in time usually at uh, most times I would mess uh I should have been steadily well not mashing there but locked on to him and started mashing to be contested but most at most points he has undetermined so he would have still got the 250 points and yeah as you're seeing it is just basically good to stay around team teammates because if you don't, yeah, right there, you'll see me look at that dude right there. I thought he was a real player at first, but yeah, which messed me up. But then I saw him do his arm things. Um, yeah, now I am rocking. What's that ability where you use the ability for a few seconds and then die? I mean, yeah. Um, where if you use the ability just before dying, it minimizes it. Yeah, that's one of the abilities I am running. Yeah, I saw that. I hope you're not... Uh, I digress on that. But here, see, when you run at full players, you don't even know what's going to happen. Because that's telling, like, that's telling people who you are. And in the end, that messes you up a lot. Oh uh, man, the video is just derping. Yeah, because I actually enjoyed how this played out. It was very competitive, and well, even though um, that dude was running around in the beginning, he does know to hide in the other, like in others. But yeah, he's messing up basically on how he does it. And I got poisoned off that there, so yeah. Um, slap him on time because yeah, I'm not a fan of poison darts. I think it's just a 300 point gun kill, basically. But yeah, seeing yeah, it's basically good to stay around teammates because by staying around them, you're one, you're getting more points. Two. Like, if you die by someone, like one of their enemies, they're there to basically get the stuns off for you. They're basically going to avenge you, basically. Stun them because of them killing you. Giving, yeah, which starts it up and helps you us gain more points. As you see. I'm running back over towards them because it's better to get it that way. Uh, yeah, but that, um, that dude right there. No, wait, he actually stunned. <laughs> I thought it was the other dude. Or did he? Yeah, he did stun, but then he went back into the, um, the blend group. Which is not good if you do not have abilities. Like, I don't think he, well, if he did, he probably used them, but... Nine times out of ten, nice stun. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, he probably did not have any abilities, which is, in most cases, is time to run. Only reason I knew it was him because of the whole his he had his axe out in his hand, which is, I believe, is a probably a glitch because that was also happening in AC three, probably in AC Revelations as well. Uh, yes, in AC Revelations as well. With that would mainly give away to, um, who your pursuer was but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video um, if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button as it helps and if you're not subscribed subscribe 
This is Corrupted Savior. Peace out, y'all.